Welcome, Bear fans, to the BearCast. This is Mike Quinlan along with Jason Miller up here at our usual Thursday night practice. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. I think it'll be this nice tomorrow night. The field is looking wonderful. Bears are coming off a, a good win up at Dyersville. Anytime you get a district win away from home against a team that has played us stuff before and in the conditions that we had to play, you, given all those things together, that was a pretty good victory. And, and some really, really positives from that. You look in the first half, maybe not the Bears' best first half of the year, 7-3, to three, giving up almost 150 yards. Second half, no points. They give a point. They gave up two yards of offense in the second half. So they're really playing strong in that second half, leading in to a, a big district rivalry game against Iowa City, Regina. Yeah, and I'll throw, ask you this trivia sure. question. How many quarters in a row have the Bears gone without giving up a touchdown? How many quarters in a row without giving up a touchdown? That would be eight. Let's go back to the third game. Probably eight. Ten. Oh, why did Columbus didn't the, score in the second half? In the second half. Oh yeah, because so we got yeah. we got ten quarters in a row. Of, wow. uh, so that's a that's pretty that's good a streak. good streak by you by that. Coach Bailey. So <laughs> and that's looking good because we are going into without a doubt, you know, the toughest district game so far yeah. this year. We're playing our our rivals Regina, who's ranked number two in one uh, A, and they're undefeated. And they really haven't had a, a close game yet. No, and they, they've done exactly what they needed to do offensively specifically. We'll get into that. And defensively, they're giving up just 11 points a game, which is, I think, number seven in all of 1A. So they're doing a lot of things. And what they're really doing, Mike, as you're going to talk about, I'm sure, is they are throwing the ball all over the entire yard. Yeah, and, and it's led by their, their senior quarterback, um, Dumont, you know, the coach's kid. Mm -hmm. Gentry is thrown for a lot, a lot of yards, and he's got a lot of weapons. But, you know, he's a senior quarterback. But you know, this is, his, this is his moment. This is his team. They're going to come ready to play. Yeah, and you've, he's averaging almost 200, was it 252 yards a game passing, and he's got 15 touchdowns. Jackson Nave, of course, going to be his number one guy. Uh, Nave is a little. 500 yards receiving. He's number one in 1A in that. He's also got eight receiving touchdowns, number well, one in 1A. And even their second best receiver is averaging almost 24 yeah. yards a catch. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got five <laughs> touchdowns. touchdowns. So, I mean, there's a it, there's a lot of receivers there. Um, running, you know, the Bears, I think, are probably a better running team. But uh, it's looking like the Bears' pass defense is really going to have to play a very good game. They're going to be very, yeah, as you said, they're going to be tested and tested. When you have a, a, a passing attack that has done some of the good things that they've done all year, like Regina has, they're going to have some plays. Mm -hmm. They're going to get plays. I mean, you're not going to hold them to zero yards, but I just don't, I, I think that the Tyler Bailey and, and the rest of the defensive staff have got some things they've got going this week. Had a good week of practice, Mike, and hopefully it'll it'll show up on the field Friday night. Well, and one thing, Jason, you know, we've experienced with all these spread offense and four wide outs, you know, the key is tackling in, in open field, you know. You, you have got to make yeah. that because it's when they break that tackle, then you got a horse race going on, so... The Bears' outside linebackers, corners, and safeties are going to have to have a good, good week tackling. Party at the football. A friend told me I need to bring that back out this week. And space tackling. When you see a guy there in space, par have a party at the football on defense. Break down, break down, break down. And then offensively for the Bears, I mean, you got Brendan Dale, 35 carries, Cooper Gates, 35 carries, Aaron Marsh, 31 carries, and Zach Capper, 57 carries. You got four people there. I, I, I just love the way the rotation of the the back is. And you can find the hot hand sometimes with that too, right? right. But you've just seen that at some time it's Aaron Marsh is running strong. Last week the, they kept going. The horse of last week was Zach Capper. What, do you have 18 carries and almost 80 yards rushing? Or Cooper Gates, has got. he's just a tough kid to bring down. He had one run last week to where... Three, four guys tried to get him down, and, and it didn't do very. He's he's just one of those wrestler kids that's yeah, tough to bring he, down. He like he looks for the contact. Yeah. Now, Aaron Marsh, he'll run right by the contact, 
and Capper will slash his way around the contact, but Cooper's looking for the, the middle of those He's looking for numbers. someone, hey, come on. <laughs> yeah, right? come on. And yeah, so, again, the Bears' offensive line controlling that line of scrimmage, controlling the clock, limiting Regina, you know, two possessions, you know, because their offense is, they're averaging, holy cow, they're averaging an awful lot. So, yeah. And I said that in our preview that we're going to post on uh, the website. I said one of the biggest keys to the game is, West Branch just sustains some drives. Just keep going and keep going. The physical presence of West Branch against the very quick, quick motion, quick strike of Regina, that's going to be the key. Who gets more? And, I, you know, we're playing Regina for homecoming, which is strange in itself. But to me, it's almost overshadowed homecoming. I mean, we had a great parade and coronation and all of fun stuff, but... This really has the fellas focused all week long on Friday night football. And done some great things this week as a team. I had some really good practices. They had a bond, team bonding and meal and watched a movie here at the Little Rose Bowl on Wednesday night, or, or excuse me, Tuesday night, of course, with the parade and things on Wednesday night. Tonight with, with game day practice down here, Mike, obviously the traditional Thursday thing. And then they'll just go home and hopefully they all uh, get a great night's sleep because... Let's get, come tomorrow. Get the yeah. get it get it tight. The strap on tight and get ready to go. So yeah. Um, so on behalf of the Bearcast, Matt Sh Shenander, our producer director Jason Miller. This is Mike Quinlan. Till kickoff, go Bears. <laughs>